Perkins hit in the backfield, but breaks tackles. Inside the 10, dives. He's in, touchdown. Ladarius Perkins looked like he might go down at the point of attack. Instead, he broke a handful of tackles and then soared into the end zone. I counted five tackles he broke. This being the last one, and great effort to get over the pylon from Ladarius Perkins. How about that? A three-play, 62-yard scoring drive. The officials blew the whistle. They may have blown the whistle before the point after, which the means they could review it. Of the touchdown, the previous play is under further review. So they're going to further review the touchdown here. Let's see where he leaps. Beautiful slow-mo, which looks great on ESPN 3D. Well, he's in there when he, yeah. when he leaves, and then the ball went over the pylon from the rear view we saw just prior to this view, so I don't think there's any reason why this call would be overturned. Still, how about the, the missed tackles again by Auburn? I, call, I, I, I had five of them. Five of them. Whitehead had a chance in the backfield. Uh, D. Ford had a chance. Darren Bates, the linebacker, had a chance. And to Charvin Bell on the second. I mean, you name it. Those are all the leaders. Bates, Bell. They're missing tackles, and nobody can make a play for Auburn on defense. This play will stand. Really on the field. It's confirmed. It's a touchdown. Well, that was pretty easy. Ladarius Perkins had two rushing touchdowns last week in the blowout win over Jackson State. He gets one here as well. Mississippi State has not won the SEC West since 1998, and I'm certainly not going to go there, but <laughs> it's an improved team. They, they've got games at Alabama, at LSU, still Arkansas and in here. But Dan Mullen's got this thing going in the right direction. 28-10. Mississippi State on top in the fourth.